This is a camera tour of the Meizu Pro 7 Plus, a 5.7 inch dual lens 12 megapixel smartphone powered by MediaTek Helio X30. Now in addition to the standard front display, and the interesting thing about this phone is it's also got an additional secondary display on the back, so you can frame your photos and take them using the dual lens setup. So from the lock screen there are two quick ways to get into the camera. You can swipe up from that corner or alternatively just double tap the home button and that will jump you straight in. Jumping into the settings, you can turn on your grid lines which allows you to line up your photo according to the rule of thirds but additionally there's also a handy tilt indicator which will let you know whether the camera is level or not. So you can see here around the shutter button you now get a handy indicator so you know when your photo is lined up. There are also options to include a date stamp and watermark on your photos. So any photo you take will show the date and also the camera that took it, but these will be burned into your photos. So you probably want to turn those off. You can also specify whether you want to record your location along with the image and then your photo size. So at 4.3, you've got options of three and 12 megapixel and then a nine megapixel for 16.9. For the front facing camera, 4.3 you've got a 4 megapixel and 16 megapixel option, and then also a 9 megapixel for 16.9. You can touch the focus, so you can specify where you want the focus and exposure to be, and you can also adjust the exposure manually by sliding up and down on the screen once you've made your selection. Standard flash options for auto on or off, and then there's an HDR mode which will capture two pictures, one at low and one at high brightness, and then combine them to give you a greater dynamic range. One of the most interesting features about this phone is the dual camera. So it has two 12 megapixel sensors, but one of them is monochrome and one of them is color. So they're both the same size and same lens, but when combined, they allow you to create shallow depth of field effects. So if we focus on this robot here at the front, that will blur out the one in the background. Alternatively, we can choose this robot instead, blurring out the foreground. You've got this second two inch display on the back and if you swipe up, that lets you access the camera so you can use the dual lenses to get a shallow depth of field using the blur effect. You can also swipe across for beauty mode which will enhance your face, or just the original mode which will take a standard photo. Tap on the screen to get a countdown or just use the volume up button if you want to take the photo straight away. Additionally, when you're in standard photo mode, you can activate that rear screen and then your subject can see what you're seeing on the main viewfinder. So take a photo and you can then apply filters directly from the gallery app. So choose a filter, apply it, save it to your gallery. Additionally, you can apply live filters. So Pick the filter you want, and you can take a photo directly with the filter applied, but bear in mind that will be burnt into the image. You can also double tap on the screen to get square photo mode, if that's your preferred format. As a burst mode for fast moving subjects, so if you hold down the shutter button, it will take up to 30 photos in one go. And you can then Click on the photo and find the shot that works best. Jumping onto the front facing camera, this will default into beauty mode, which will do enhancements to your face to make you look better. There's a smart option with a scale of one to five, depending on how intense you want that effect. Or you can jump in and adjust things like your eye size, face shape, and skin smoothing and get a real time preview of that. So because you've got two sensors on the back and one of them is monochrome, you can actually activate black and white mode and this will give you much better gray levels compared to if you took a standard photo 
and just applied a black and white filter to it. So we jump into this mode, apply the filter there. What you'll see is that this is actually quite harsh, whereas we've got much better gray levels, much more detail in the darks and lights. We're using the monochrome camera rather than just using a black and white filter. For moving subjects, you've got a GIF mode. This will take a square picture. It captures movement. Save that to the gallery. And you can see that creates a looping GIF that you can share to social media. Finally, you've got a pro mode. So that gives you much more control over how you want the photo to come out. So you can adjust your exposure time, the ISO, so you can specify how dark or light the image it's gonna be. You can manually adjust your focus from macro down to infinity. Exposure compensation to specify how light or dark you want the image to be. You can also specify the saturation of the shot. So you can make it more washed out or high saturation, and also adjust the contrast. And finally, you can dial in your white balance. So that gives you much more creative control over the photos that you take. So that's the camera tour of the Meizu Pro 7 Plus. Those dual lenses not only create a shallow depth of field effect, but also let you take great black and white photos as well. The standout feature is the rear screen, creating additional photography opportunities so you can make even more use of those two sensors. To get the most out of your camera, experiment with the options available so you can take better photos with your phone.